Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to Blogging Through My Eyes. My name is Derek Gordon, and this is, I mean, I had an introduction video, but this is kind of like my first, first video um, as far as um, a couple things that I'm about to go into, talk about a couple deep topics um, as far as growing up with me. Because um, everybody looks at me now and probably says, wow, like this is such a great guy, an amazing guy, he's friendly, he's nice, he's he loves to help people, etc. Um, yes, I am like that, but I do have a past as well. Um, and I would like to share that with you guys. Um, just because, I mean, just like I said, this is a lifestyle blog of me. Um, so I'm going to start from the beginning and work my way all the way up until now. And then, then some, and then some, and then some, four, four, you know how it goes. Um, but first and foremost, I'm, if people don't know, I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey. Yes. I am a Jersey boy. Um, if people don't know, that's a New Jersey Devil Tattoo NHL hockey team. I just wanted to basically get a tattoo, basically say I'm from New Jersey. I think it's kind of badass <laughs> in a way. Um, but from playing for New Jersey, my mother name is Sandra Gordon. My father name is Michael Gordon. I have two brothers. One is a twin. His name is Daryl Gordon. He's two hours older than me, and he's only about five eight, five nine. So he's a lot smaller than me. Me, I'm 6'3", I'm tall, you know, I'm my brother Michael Gordon, um, and I'm the baby out of the three. I'm the baby, um, 24 years of age, my birthday is coming up December 12th, I'm a Sagittarius, I'll be 25, I'm so happy. I'll be in Hawaii with my boyfriend, um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so, middle school, <laughs> those were the days. Um, I was such a troublemaker in middle school to the point that I was a ringleader. I used to pick fights. Um, I used to tell people what to do and they would like, it was now that I look at, look back at it. I was so bad that it's, I, I'm kind of shocked and amazed that I was able to do the things that I was doing back then. And it's like, I was in a way, it's in a way, it's like, why was I doing that? Now that I look, look back at it, it's like, I was so stupid for doing that stuff. Like, what was the point of doing all of that stuff? There was no point at all. Um, but, yeah, it was it, it was quite, quite an experience uh, in a way. I was just normal, what, 10, 11, 12-year-old, running around, doing God knows what, nonsense stuff, until it was one point in elementary school, actually, uh, I got arrested. Um, I got arrested, um, and they were going to charge me with assault. Um, I, I'll tell you what I did. I mean, it, it was a fight that was going to, this kid was, was picking on my brother. Um, and he didn't want to fight him. So long story short, I chased him home and ran into his house. I don't, he could have had a dog sitting there, anything. And I ran into this kid's house. Come to find out, this all happened on the school property. And when I ran to go chase him home, he lived literally two, three houses, like two, three houses away from where the school was. And the principal was sitting right there when I was doing that. I didn't even know. Next day, police officer was there arresting me. So my mom came to pick me up from jail because um, I was only a minor and they didn't charge me. So she came to pick me up she crying nonstop, just crying. Oh my gosh, like, why are you doing this? I don't want this lifestyle for you. And it hit me. It hit me in a way because I don't want to, I don't want to see my mom crying. And she was crying. Like it really... I'm starting to tear up a little bit just thinking about it because I'm, I really hurt my mother by doing what I did and I'm, I'm sorry for doing what I did, but you know what, in the long scheme of things, it changed me in a way because I'm not, it changed me in a way. I didn't just do a 360. I did a 720 and changed my complete personality as far as friends, everything, um, but that happened in elementary school. Unfortunately, 
when middle school came up, I, it didn't change me that much because I was still doing the same stuff. But then I personally started to think to myself that is this really the lifestyle that I want to live? Do I want to walk into a building or a room and people look at me and they say, wow, oh yeah, that's there. That's the troublemaker. Like, I don't want to live like that. Like, I, I, I want to be somebody in this world. And, and that's what I was thinking about. I said, I want to be somebody. I want to be somebody as far as people can look up to me. People can come to me for advice, et cetera. That's the person that I want to be. It took some time for me to change. Don't get me wrong. I don't think anybody can just change like that overnight. Um, but it took me some time. And when I changed, I liked it. It was like, wow, like I'm happy that I'm living this way. Like I'm living better now. I'm getting a new, I'm around a new sir sir friends and everything was peaches and cream um i went to one of the top high schools in the country st patrick's high school uh which was in elizabeth new jersey i'm not sure where it's located now because they they moved it they closed it down um but i played for one of the top high school coaches coach kevin ball and played with two nba players right now who michael kid gilchrist um, who plays for the Charlotte Hornets and Kyrie Irving who plays for the Cavaliers. Um, I'm amazed how um, how much they progressed playing in the NBA, and I'm very happy for those guys. Um, do I still talk to those guys now? No. Unfortunately, uh, me personally, what I think it was is um, because I came out, um, honestly, I, before I really I really wasn't talking to them like that back when I, even before I came out. Um, it was only so-so, but when I came out, <laughs> that, I think that did it for them. Um, but uh, Michael K. Gilchrist, he actually wrote a nice response to the media when I came out. He got um, interviewed about it, and he actually said some pretty nice things, and I compliment him, and I tip my hat off to him for um, doing that. Because Mike, Michael K. Gilchrist, People don't know, I used to, first of all, we played in the same state. He went to University of Kentucky. I went to Western Kentucky University. So we were in the same state. We Skyped probably at least once every two days just to talk about how everything is going on my side and how everything is going on his side. So we were very, very close. Um, unfortunately, things happen, and uh, I guess, no, I mean, I... I can't help that. I mean, you know, I am who I am. I'm not going to change. Uh, and nothing has changed. Here, here's what I want to really express to people about being gay. For one, you, and people may have their own opinion on this, you just can't wake up and say that I'm gay. It's not possible. Like, I, it's, it's not possible. You have to be, you are born gay it's just only a matter of time until you finally realize that you are. Plain and simple. People try to say all this other stuff. No, that's not it. I dated girls when I. It's not like yeah, I woke up, I knew I was gay, and I was and I was just gay out of the womb. No, I dated girls. Yes, I dated girls in middle school, high school, and college. So my freshman year of college. So. Because after my freshman year, that's when I started to realize who I was. Um, but you just can't do that. And people may have their own opinion, but honestly, truth be told, that's what I, that's what it is. Um, you just can't wake up and say that you're gay. No, you're born gay, and it's just only a matter of time until you realize who you are. But I don't mean to go off topic. Um, I just honestly had to get that out there because I'm, I've been hearing that a lot, and it's just it's crazy some of the things people say about that. But they have their own opinions. It is what it is. Um, so I, I stopped talking to them. I mean, I don't know. I think it's because of that, but it is what it is. But I was just telling y'all that because I had an, had a, the opportunity to play with two guys who are in the NBA right now. So I'm very fortunate about that. Um, moving forward, um, it, it's, it's actually it's so many things that I want to talk to you guys about right now. Um, but I don't want to just just spill it all out in one video. I know we're coming up on 10 minutes right now. I just don't want to spill it all out. Um, but if you have any questions, concerns, 
or anything that you want to talk to me about or whatever, please, please feel free to hit me up. I respond to everybody. I don't leave anybody out in the field. I will respond back to you. Um, just send me a message. My social media account, most of that stuff is all open. You can send me a direct message on Twitter. My Twitter is, is at Flash2Gordon. Uh, my Instagram is Flash32Gordon. Um, my Facebook is, of course, my name. Um, and if you want to send me an email, um, I always check my email. My email is DerekGordonBlog at gmail.com. Um, but there's so many, just as I said, there's so many things that I want to share with you guys. Um, but I just wanted to give you a small portion of basically how everything went for me growing up. And I'm, and that's only a little bit. There's still so much that I want to share with you guys. Just like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos of just sharing different things with you guys and just letting you guys know my lifestyle and, and how I lived and how everything is for me now. I'm in my home. I'm in my house right now. Um, living in San Francisco, staying with my amazing partner, Curry, um, and I'm doing great on the path of becoming a firefighter um, and doing this blog stuff as well. So um, but thanks, guys. I appreciate, appreciate you for liking this video. Um, there will definitely be more videos this, soon, this week. Um, I'll try to pump out a video by the end, by the end of this week, and I know I leave for Hawaii on the 10th for my birthday weekend. My birthday is on the 12th, so I'll be out there for five days with my partner and join it. Um, so I'll try to pump out another video for you guys and just keep you guys updated and everything was going on. Um, until then, guys, stay blessed, keep your heads up, keep living your life, and keep following through my eyes. Talk to you guys later.